Hello guys, Oscar here, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Now, today we are working a little bit off of what we did started out with, I want to say about a month ago, unfortunately, about the piston. This is, I mean, at six pistons right now, all extended. And as you guys obviously know, piston pushes and pulls, well, it pushes, locks. Apparently, makes other players place them as well. And so yeah, right here on the other old grand, the other grand old path of redstone, we have lots of things. Mostly just uh, parts of using pistons, basically everything. It's, and this is a piston feed tape. This is what we're everything's about this today. And it gets really cool actually. It gets goes from just like decoration to like data storage, as in the, the computers, which is really cool. So, yeah, anyway, this is a piston feed tape. Basically, these blocks get cycled around as the pistons fire. If you hook them up horribly and ugly, uh, uglily, I don't know, whatever. If you hook them up in an ugly way to a redstone clock like this, you can see they get cycled around. It's pretty cool. And then now, yeah, that's basically the basics of a piston feed tape. You can uh, do, like, you can cycle around different pictures or something on like, a wall, and you can do all kinds of things. Hold on a sec. Okay, I can't figure it out. Apparently, I guess there was an update or something. It's not what it was before. So I guess we'll just do this in the dark. But, yeah, this is a fist piston feed tape. Not a piston feed tape. That's weird. And, uh, yeah, there's cycle blocks around. Now, with the date, yeah, I said earlier about how you can make decoration and all kinds of cool pictures like that. But you can also do really, really amazing things, like, data-wise. It's all done with this thing here, a comparator. These things are amazing. So for one thing, they can take outputs from things that carry items. Hoppers, chests, I don't know, trap chests, shulker boxes, all kinds of things. But they can also take them out of cauldrons, which are amazing. And at least they're amazing what we're doing. I said that a lot just now. When it's filled with water, it, gives them, it also gives an output. And how does this store data? Well, you the hopper, or the, not hopper, that's a cauldron. It's a cauldron. Do that, but with the, where the data comes into play is that when you see it cycles around, when it gets through there, it gives an output. So in theory, that's, that's one bit of data right there. Look at that. Now we got an output. But obviously, you can't just do one little thing. You have to make it supersized. So I did that right here. This is the largest piston feed tape. Oh, it's not the largest. I think you can go up to 15, and then you have to have them slightly desynced to keep going. 15 blocks wide, but 12 blocks long is the maximum it can go because of the piston push limit. And yeah, it's pretty. These kinds of things are pretty beastly. They're basically computer hard drives, and uh, basically the way you can actually count up the amount of data it can store by just counting all the blocks. And those are all bits. Each block is one bit, so like eight blocks is a byte. A uh, thousand bytes is a kilobyte and something like that. But yeah, this is this entire thing when you activate it cycles the blocks around. It's, I had some weird stuff going on with the timings for some reason, so it's, it takes a little while to go to go through. Catch you guys in a moment. Might have fixed it? Question mark. Yeah, I did. Temporarily. What the heck? Be right back, again, guys. This is not working, guys. I don't understand. I built these 50 times. I don't understand why this isn't going. I did something weird with the pistons. Catch you guys in a second. I know I've said that like four times in the last minute. So these pistons aren't pulling away fast enough, I don't think, for these these ones to push down. How that's happening, I have no clue. They're all the same, uh, like, delay apart. 
Hold on, let me try something. I think I found the problem. I have no idea why. For some reason, look. So th this line is going to that those pistons there. This line's for those. These pistons are firing before. Is that even an issue? But they can't get across. I... Okay, guys. I'm. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, if this was working correctly. These blocks we cycled around, and I, it's just a vertical, vertical version of what we have over here. Here I have a very complex, like super, super complex, like a nine pixel display. I know it's really high, it's high quality, and there's, you can do a lot of games and stuff on it, but hey, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. So, the way I, I set this up is with colors. So, like this pixel's blue pixel, this one is purple, that one's red, and so on. So, and then I just line that up with this right here. And I did it with the colors of the rainbow, by the way. And then, so, if we have a cauldron here, well, not there, here's where they're being picked up. If a full cauldron here, that comparator picks it out, goes into the current separator, brings it down into here, that pixel. I tested this, this worked fine. I'll right, be right back again, guys. Alright, guys. Uh, I don't know why that didn't go as planned, but I got it working by dropping it all down a block. I guess it would be this block was powered or something. I don't know. But either way, full cauldron on red. Red pixel fires. And you can create images by just selecting one. So, like, let's do a slash this way. We have red, pink, and blue. So, let me go over here. Find the red. We got that. And we got pink right here, and then blue right here. Build these up. We should have a slash if I did this correctly. We have almost a slash. Be right back. Alright, so I, I swear, guys, I tested this, but okay. We have a slash now that it's correctly wired. I tested this, though. I don't understand. What do I think is going wrong? Or say, we, but like, okay, let's say we, we wanted a cross. So we got one slash already. Then we would need orange and how oh, was that cyan? There's cyan right here, and then orange. So if you're gonna write this in like code, not really code, but if you were to like program, quote unquote, program it, it would look something like this. Right here, I actually did that already. So you look down here, they're identical, and each row is one image, so it's not like this whole thing is one image. That'd be insane. Please be across. We have a cross. Thank you guys for the first time ever. All right, I don't. Now let's try some other images. I don't remember what I did here. Well, this was obviously a whole full block, but like here, I don't remember this. I'm gonna try doing that. So one, two, one, one, one. Okay, I can do that. That's one, one. Okay, that's confusing. One, one two? Question mark. Is that what it was? Close. Not bad. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's take that out. Maybe we can do this. That and this. And that. We should have something. No idea what that was supposed to be. So let's just actually. Yeah. Hold on. Let me break this down. Okay. So I guess I was supposed. To, I was trying to do a little. Happy face thing? I don't know. And then obviously I didn't wire this right. I didn't do this machine very well. I've only been working on it for a few... I only worked on it for like 20 minutes, I guess. So that's a lot of room for error. But still. I tested this. I know I did. <sighs> okay, let's just let's do some more. Just for the show, you know. Now in theory, yeah, we would cycle this through. And then we could cycle it down to rotate through images. But no, I guess I just can't build right. What else should we do? Um, what did I do here? One, two, three... One, two, three. One, two. Right, is that what it was? 
That's what it was. No, it's not what it was. Okay, so what was this one? I'm guessing that was also that was supposed to be one of those crosses, because apparently I don't know how to fire an orange thing. How's that even being powered? Oh, this thing again. There, there we go. Cross. <laughs> Should have moved those out one. That actually been really useful. But I guess that I think guess that's a demo for supposedly how they work. Here, this is this is actually a better demo. This little thing I have. This little thing I have here. That'd be a better demo than that. But it just shows you, it goes to show that if you build something in 20 minutes, it's probably not going to work the first time. Even though you tested it, because apparently everything hates you. So let's just sit in the cauldron. And then, outro. Insert outro here. There. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching all the way through, even though this thing I'm sitting in is a catastrophic failure. In fact, that's not a way to end a video. You know how this should go can model how you can use redstone with TNT. No, we're not using torch. We're not. We are not noobs. The idea here is totally uniform. Uh, like the, the trick is to have the most uniform placement of TNT ever. The more, uh, the more evenly placed, the more. Uh, oh, okay, that's going off now. There we go. That's how to end a YouTube. Not how to end a YouTube. Sorry, guys. There we go. Now we end. See you guys later. But yeah, it was fun up until that point to uh, record this, and hope you guys enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye bye.